What's up everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie and today I'm going to talk about my top five go-to inks. These are inks that I use all of the time. They are, well, my go-to. They're ones that never disappoint that I can use in pretty much any pen and will always, always love it. So let's jump right in. None of them are really numbered one through five. They're just all kind of my top five. But if I had to pick a number one, I'm gonna start with James Purdy and Sons. It's probably my new all time favorite ink. Um, I have only had this now for probably, oh, six months maybe, about that. Um, but you can tell I've used a fair amount of it. It is a relatively expensive ink um, because it is scented and it is a premium Mont Blanc ink, um, but I absolutely love it. Sorry about the writing on the back here, but you won't see it once I lay down the beautiful. This is a scented ink. It does smell pretty much like bourbon. Um, or whiskey or whatever you want to call it. It just smells so so good oh, Yeah, it Makes me want to take a drink even though I don't drink uh, But yeah, it smells amazing. I love it. I just dropped the lid um, This ink is uh, really warm in tone um, Which I love I like uh, a lot of like warm full of depth colors uh this one now these are swabs so they're going to be a little on the darker side than than it normally would but it shades really really well um, another one that shades really well is also a mont blanc ink um and that is the well this <laughs> i'm not going to pronounce that because i will destroy it this is one that i love to keep uh, this one, by the way, I mostly keep in a, well, actually a lot of my pens have this, but I like it the most in my uh, Pilot Custom 823. This one uh, I like the most in my uh, Visconti Homo Sapiens Midnight in Florence pen. Um, I like it because it makes it a lot more saturated than it normally is. Uh, and this is a fairly saturated pen, or not pen, uh, ink as well. It's a very, yeah, look at it's a very nice, like burgundy, purple, slight undertones of like brown almost um, color. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that. I will focus my camera in a second. Oh man, that is just stunning. Um, those two colors, especially next to each other, um, are very like contrasting and yet complement each other uh, which I really really like um, and I usually always have like these five inked up in something as I put that back in the box um, so I really really enjoy those two something to completely divert from both of those warm tones is something very cool so cold it's fire and dice the label has definitely seen a better day um, but this is Robert Oster uh, Fire and Ice. Um, this one I love, love, love to keep in um, my Omos Ojiva Alba um, blue cocktail one. Um, I really, really like this one. This shades and sheens like crazy. Um, so no matter what pen you put it in, you'll pretty much have a great, great time with it. Um, it's a little on the wet side not too 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 wet um, but it can be a little bit difficult to clean if you um, leave this inked up in your pen for a very long time because of the sheening property you probably won't see it here um, but it sheens very well it comes out red which I assume is the the fire portion to the ice um, and I really love it I really recommend it um, just clean that one out every once in a while and then to come into another scented ink. This one I think is really underrated. Um, nobody really talks about this ink. Um, and that's probably because it does have some, you know, peculiar, peculiar uh, attributes to it. Um, it does feather a little bit on certain papers. So you have to have good paper to handle this. Um, and it is scented. It does smell like cola, um, a generic cola not like you know sweet coke oh, 
but I do really like the smell of it. Um, I, this is one of the first inks I ever purchased. Um, and it's, fun fact, pretty much always inked up in my Platinum Century 3776 with a fine nib. Um, and I really, really like it. This is definitely more of a brown color um, than the rest, um, which I like. Um, it's, a, it's a reddish brown. Um, and I've used probably about half of the bottle. Um, and I really, really dig it. It's a little more red looking in real life than it does on this camera. It's kind of hard to pick that up. The other colors, shockingly, are true to what I see in real life. Um, this may be slightly lighter shade in real life, um, but this is definitely a little more red than the rest. Um, and then to round out the color uh, wheel here that I got is uh, Gé Urbain Lit de Té. So this ink here, I usually only use in very wet pens um, because it is a drier writing ink, but I just love it. Um, I think it's a love-hate relationship for a lot of people because I think the color is great, um, but it is a drier writing ink. It's probably the driest writing ink um, that I have in my collection. Um, and the bottle kind of sucks to be able to fill anything out of, um, but I still recommend it. I really like the color. Um, it is definitely, well, tea leaves. <laughs> it, it looks more pukey <laughs> in this swab, um, mostly because when you have it in a pen, here, I'll double coat this one. When you have it in a pen, it's going to come out more towards this double coated Um I'll pull it up a little bit. It, it's a little bit darker in real life than, than what the camera brings it up as. Um, but I like to have this one in uh, wet writing pens. This one I don't necessarily always keep in one particular pen, um, but I definitely like it. I definitely recommend it. Um, it's in my top five go-to for sure. Um, so you'll kind of notice here, I much prefer colors on the warmer side um, than the cooler side. This one's sort of like a happy medium um, between warm and cool. This one's really the only one that just kind of stands out. Uh, as most of you know, I prefer ink samples than bottles of ink because I'd like to change my inks all the time. So for me to have five bottles of ink that I consistently go to, um, that, that means something. <laughs> um, so if I'm forced Force, force, forced to rate it one through five. I would probably go one, two, three, four, five. I say three, four because I don't know which one's three and which one's four. <laughs> um, but that is if like gunned in my head. Um, all of these five are really, really great and I would very much recommend them um, to anyone. So guys, thank you for watching. I'm curious, what is your top five go-to inks? Um, they're not necessarily the best inks of all time. They're not necessarily, you know, my top five in total ever, um, but these are definitely my go top five go-tos. So guys, thanks for watching. Hit that like button if you haven't done so already. Hit the subscribe button. New videos come out every Monday and Friday and the occasional Q&A throughout the week. Uh, guys, as always, I love you and I'll see you next time. Bye.